Oh. All right. Let's get it. What did James Gunn find in Harley Quinn that impressed you, that excited you? I mean, he. I, I think he definitely got her voice and like the tone of how unpredictable she can be. And there is a lot of twists and turns in this film. And I think people will be like caught off guard a lot of times. Um, but he definitely, he just dialed, he, he dialed a lot of things up. He dialed up, you know, with an R rating, he was able to dial up and push the comedy in a certain direction and the violence in a certain direction and kind of let, yeah, he just kind of let, let Harley loose, I suppose. I really think uh, them giving James creative freedom and one of the things James does so well among the other stuff is he's so active with his audience. He really is interactive with the people that are diehards of the IP and know the material. So if you want to talk about somebody that knows your audience, like they, they picked the right guy for this project. It's beautiful because I get to work with this crazy, amazing, genius James Gunn, you know, again and again. So it's- Yeah, Jai Courtney to me called him a evil genius. Evil genius. He can be, he can be a bit evil, can't he? But in a good way, right? Oh yeah. Rooker, get over here! You know, oh, he's so tough with me. Yes, I call it um, uh, uh, 30s style directing, where he has the megaphone. Now you move to the window. Hold the telescope to your eye. The other eye! And you're crying. You're totally sad. Not that sad! Like It's, it's like that. It's not improv, because he wants you to say what he has written, um, but he does like to have fun and change it up and switch it up a little bit. He's incredible. I want to work with him again. And I mean, I'm a part of the Suicide Squad. That's super freaking cool. I think Warner Brothers should release the air cut. You know, I, I think it's it's in a company's best interest to listen to their audience. And if it's something that's so in demand and they got it, why not? I think that's all a very complicated situation that I am uh, probably- would you, want to, would you want to see it? I would want to see the cut of every movie I've been a part of that I've never seen. Yeah, why not? You know, right. like you, you always want to see the, the director's, you know, vision. Did you ever see that cut? No. As an actor, sometimes I don't see it until half the country has seen it. You know, sometimes I see it after millions of people have seen it. You don't really get to see it. You don't get to see the different iterations along the way unless you're a producer. Um, so in that case, yeah, I didn't see it till it was out in theaters. I don't know. I don't. I don't really like because I've not been in the industry for that long. I don't. I still don't understand those like cuts and things. But I'm curious. I mean, that's up to Warner Brothers. I'm gonna leave that to them. This is incredible. Well, I always want to see what what other people have in store. I want to see like a. You want to see what the pure creation, don't you? And I think that's what we have right now with this one. So yeah, I think I'd like to see that. Sure. Yeah, I think they should. Why not? Yeah, yeah, why not? I'm sure, I'm sure like, it's, it's a win-win for everyone. It's a win-win for him to get his vision out there. And also, Warner Brothers makes double the money on, two, on the same film. Oh.